I am Founders Day here, Lords Tablets at Lords. It's a nice mix, isn't it, of sort of social cricket for yourselves in the middle of a very busy season. Yeah, it's brilliant, you know. It's, it's a great opportunity to come and, you know, express yourself and, and, and meet a lot of wide range of people, you know. You meet fans here who know you who you don't know. Um, and, you know, it's a great day out. We're at the home of cricket, which is always nice to play here, even, even on the nursery ground. Um, played here as a youngster and now to come back as an adult, you know, have a few beers with, with, with some long-term friends who, who I've seen here today as well um, and, and enjoy myself. And some nice banter out on the pitch, as you say, people you've played sort of with and against over the years as well, to have them out on the pitch as well in a social environment, it's all good fun. Brilliant, you know, you, I, I don't think you can beat it. Um, all these guys who play cricket after, after their retirement of first class cricket, um, they enjoy themselves, they have a beer, they really can't do that on a Saturday afternoon as, as a club, but to come here and do it, you know, I, I, I can't think you can beat it, you know, this, 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 is, this is dream come true, to be honest. Of course, well, the Lord's Taverners, it's Founders Day, Lady Taverners, so really important that money's being raised through the auction and the raffle for all very good causes. Definitely, um, you know, I, I've, I've heard of hearsay that, you know, they've raised a hell of a lot of money today, which I'm really proud of, um, that they, they, they all deserve it, you know, there's been a lot of hard work put in. Uh, t to make this day and I'm proud to be part of it. And uh, on a personal note, you're happy with where your cricket is at the minute? Yeah, yeah. no, brilliant. Um, we're, we're going well. Uh, could be better as always, um, but in the you know, I'm, en I'm enjoying my cricket in Glamorgan um, and, and looking forward to the rest of the season. And of course, the, the ground itself is, is sort of usually in the news, another test match, another one international, so it's great for fans to better see it in, it, in its you know, full capacity. Yeah, well, we hope we get that test match. Uh, we, we have just had one. Um, I, I hope we do get that other one for you know, sponsors, uh, money raising and, and everything else through the county. But we're all enjoying it down at Glamorgan and we hope we get the next test match. And uh, just talking test match, just a quick word on uh, where you think England are at a minute. On, on the way up, all looking good? Yeah, brilliant. I I think you know there's been a lot of chat about they're the best team they've ever been and I believe they have. Um, looked back at DVDs and, and even tapes to when my dad showed me the both of days and stuff um, and I believe this is the best current team that we've had in a long long time. And so obviously a lot of them you've played against anyway, is it, do you, does it seem as though they're sort of going up a notch for test cricket or is it just a matter of applying themselves ball by ball, match by match? Um, I, I think it's a bit of both you know I think they've got the variety of attack now with the seamers, spinners, Swannies coming in and them absolutely amazing I don't think anyone thought he would do that as well as he did he's just a general off spinner hasn't got any variation as such um, but he's done fantastically well and the seamers you know Bresnan's come in and done and fantastically well and there's guys behind him like James Harris from Glamorgan who could be next in line or you know um, so I, the, the country is looking up definitely and you're mentoring them well I am <laughs> great so listen thanks for joining us and good luck today cheers thanks cheers.